The first presentation this afternoon is by our good friend Irina Zimoni Kalinina from Hungary, and it is focusing on Hungarian proverbs about courage and fear. The floor is yours, Irina. Thank you very much, Rui. Let me share with you my, my screen. So the title of the presentation is The Fortune in Favor of the Bold, Current and Fear, Hungarian Proverbal Parallels to the Russian Parameological Minimum. Uh, uh, just for short information, I put practically all my text on, on the slide. So if you are not able to follow my Harry speech, just to read the words that maybe it will facilitate the understanding of, of, of the material I'm presenting to you. So my presentation will consist of six points, introduction, then thematic index of Russian proverbs uh, and Matikus international type system of proverbs. Uh, point three, the Russian and Hungarian proverbs of the thematic subgroup, the five subsections. Uh, point four, parallels and lacuna. And uh, then uh, a brief historical overview of an active Hungarian proverb due to its historical uh, actuality. The covert people have no homeland and then conclusions. So introduction. In this research, we draw parallels between Russian and Hungarian proverbs belonging to the thematic subgroup determined as courage and fear. As a starting point and the base of this research, we use the uh, thematic group three, uh, character, psyche, morality, emotions, in the thematic index of Russian proverbs as a part of the Slavonic uh, Dictionary of Proverbs by M. Kotova, presented in this section. We also consulted the Matikus international type system of proverbs to create an idea about the differences between the two classifications. The Hungarian proverbs were identified based on Hungarian proverbs dictionaries of Margalic, Potsole, and Litovkina. Altogether, we examined 12 Russian and 28 Hungarian proverbs. Comparing Russian and Hungarian proverbs, we disclosed a number of parallels and more lacuna. We will also go deeper in the semantics of these proverbs, detecting the concrete message of each proverb in this thematic subgroup and placing them in smaller subsections. Inspired by the classification of M. Kotova and Mati Kusi, we deepened into speci specificity and national flavor of the Hungarian proverbs. Uh, before diving into the proverbial law of our thematic subgroup, we'll have a very brief look at the differences in the classification between thematic index of Russian proverbs by M. Kotova and Mati Kusi international type system of proverbs. As we can see at the left side, you can see the table of, of Matikusi international type system and on the right side, the Russian Slavonic index of proverbs. So as we can see the thematic index of Russian proverbs is treating courage and fear as a part of the whole human emotional scale. In the Matikusi system, this topic makes part of category M4, courage, cowardice, compliance, and has subgroups at A, B, C, and D. So this classification is more detailed, is discloses and specifies different aspects. In our paper, we'll also, um, we also, oh, sorry, we also mm, uh, distinguish uh, several subsections with, uh, within the thematic subgroup in the frameworks of the proverbial selection we have at our disposal. Uh, the thematic analysis of the selected items permitted to perform a certain fine tuning within the material analyzed and led us to grouping the selected proverbs into subsections. Thus, five subsections were introduced, namely courage and destiny, pride and fear, encouragement, fearlessness can be dangerous, and caution. Now we'll have a closer look at each subsection. Courage and destiny. Within this subsection, we can detect different grades of meaning. When you do not have nothing to worry about, you are not afraid to say these two proverbs. Uh, I will not read the proverbs in original languages. Uh, you can uh, understand that on the left side we have Russian proverbs, on the right side the Hungarian ones, and when there is no parallel in one side, it means that uh, uh, there is no parallel. About the parallels I will speak a little bit later. So, the Hungarian proverbs about uh, courage and destiny. The beggar is not afraid of thief or robbery. Uh, the poor is not afraid of thief. Next grade of courage and destiny. In order to gain anything, you must defeat your fear. Who fears the wolves cannot enter the forest, said the Russian proverb. If you are afraid of the wolf, 
don't go into the woods. Uh, another Hungarian proverb, he who is afraid of water will not eat fish. Next step, accepting the destiny, what else would it be? Devil might do a trick. It will be what will be or be as be may. Courage and bravery are essential to reach our goals. Who dares he eats, risk is a noble deed, courage conquers cities. Uh, Hungarian proverbs, fortune fa favors the bold, he who ventures wins. Even if that outcome is uncertain, the fear cannot stop us. Either lost or lost, or either think of him, uh, it's English uh, translation or parallel. And the Hungarian one, all or nothing. And finally, the real hero is called a lead on the dam, which means that he or she is not frightened, deterred by difficult situations. Uh, uh, next subsection, fright and fear. Here we start with an unidentified anxiety. Fear has magnifying eyes. But the fear can be also measured since it depends on certain frightening factors. He is afraid of it as the devil fears holy water or incense. Then comes the action as a consequence of fear. The scared child runs into the, his mom's lap. He who is scared in the forest thinks, on my illustration, we can see she thinking in the forest, but anyway. Um, and the bad experience, the fright, is mentally conserved and determines the behavior in future. Scared crow or scared hare fear the bush. Those burned with milk also blow on water. And Hungarian prose, a scolded dog, fears even the rain. The one who once burned his mouth with porridge blows the clever. A burned child fears the fire. Once stung by the snake, he is afraid of the lizard. Who got stung by the wasp is afraid of the mosquito. The pigeon tortured by kite. It's a kind of a very uh, a bird. I put the Latin name in the back. So the pigeon tortured by the kite is afraid even of its feathers. Finally, a proverb, a proverb in this subsection condemns the cowardice of a nation. Uh, we will specify on this proverb in our presentation later on. Uh, this uh, covert people have no homeland. Encouragement. In a dangerous situation, you can count on God, on yourself or on your fellow. Hope in God, but don't forget to help yourself. Help yourself and God will help you. Don't worry as long as you can see me. Or you can give yourself up to the faith and trust in good fortune. Many of the places we got in trouble, which means that we survived even worse situations. And the Hungarian proverb, one life, one death. Fearlessness can be dangerous. The pitcher regularly going for water will break the, its head. The pitcher goes so long to the well until it breaks. Caution. The last subsection in this subgroup, caution, contains exclusively Hungarian proverbs. We would leave this outcome to the specialist in psychology or sociology letting them to wonder about particularities in national character or typical behavior, either in Russian or in Hungarian tradition. So uh, it is better to worry than to be afraid. He who fears stays alive. One cannot be caution, uh, cautious enough. Running away is a shame, but useful. The smart wins more times than the brave. Uh, some statistics. On this uh, diagram, we can see the statistical spread of the examined Russian and Hungarian proofs. The full and partial Russian and Hungarian equivalents uh, make 15%, the parallels with different imagery 50%, and the mutual lacuna 35% of the whole number of proofs. Hereafter, we can see the tables introducing examples of equivalence parallels with different imagery and lacuna. Uh, I will uh, quickly read the proverbs, even if we have seen them already above. So full and partial equivalence who fear the wolves cannot enter the forest. If you're afraid of the wolves, don't go into the woods. Uh, hope in God, but don't forget to help yourself. Help yourself and God uh, will help you. And the pitch regularly going for water will break there its head. The pitcher goes so long to the well until it breaks. Parallels with different images, just examples. 
either Lord or lost uh, uh, all or nothing. In this source probable pair, we can draw a very clear parallel between becoming a Lord in Russian proverb, which means gaining all everything, and to be lost that which is in Hungarian sounds as nothing nihil. Uh, and uh, uh, who dares he eats, uh, fortune of ever he bold, risk is a noble deed, courage conquers cities, he who ventures wins. And um, the last probable pair in the table below is an example of reckless bravery and blind trust in good luck. Many of the places we got in trouble and one life, one death. This slide showcases a variety of cases with food and animals like dog, crow, snake, lizard, was mosquito, pigeon, etc., illustrating unlikely events. Uh, here we can see the scared uh, crow, which is here at the bush, uh, and uh, those burned with milk also blow on water. It's called the dog fears even the rain. Uh, the one who once burned his mouth with porridge blows the clever and so on. Maybe I do not need to, to read all the proverbs because we have seen them uh, before. So it's speaking about different animals and other uh, scaring, frightening events. Lacuna examples. Only one Russian proverb in this thematic group, namely, fear has magnifying eyes, was identified as not having parallels in the, in the Hungarian proverb law. As mentioned above, the five Hungarian proverbs of subsection caution represent lacuna regarding the Russian proverb law and several more. Uh, like you can see in this table uh, below, the burger is not afraid of the thief. Uh, he is an, uh, a lead on the dam and um, he is afraid of it as devil fears holy water or insects. Uh, he who is scared on the forest stings. Covered people have no homeland and don't worry as long as you can see me. And that one is that means Hosea. Covered people have no homeland. It's a brief historical overview of an active proverb. Speaking of the Hungarian proverbs of the thematic group Courage and Fear, we cannot avoid a more thorough introduction of a special, very active proverb due to its. Uh, the historic actuality. In 2020, Hungary commemorates the centenary of the Treaty of Trianon, prepared in the Paris Peace Conference and signed in the Grand Trianon Palace in Versailles on June 4, 1920. It formally ended World War I between most of the allies of World War I and the Kingdom of Hungary. The borders of the independent Hungarian state were defined uh, by the treaty generally within the ceasefire lines drawn in November, December 1918. Some statistics. According to the treaty, the Kingdom of Hungary lost 72% uh, of its territory and 64% of its population. Only about 30% of Hungarians were left in the post Trianon Hungary, uh, though the areas that were allocated to neighboring countries had a majority of non Hungarians. In them lived 3.3 uh, million Hungarians, who from now entered in a minority status. Uh, ten largest cities of the kingdom were from now found in foreign countries. You can see them on the map in the center, the, the, the recent map of Hungary and uh, the old Hungary. So uh, the public perception immediately listed the, the piece of Trianon, Trianon alongside the great national catastrophes, Muhi, uh, uh, 1241, Mohaj, 1526, Vilagos, uh, 1849 that determined the fate of the country for one or even more generations. Just to mention on the margins of this chapter, the second event on this list, uh, the Battle of Mohaj, it is also enshrined in the Universal Memory of Nation in a form of proverb. To be sure at Mohaj now, more was lost at Mohaj. Uh, Battle of Mohaj, August 29, 1526. This is a defeat of Hungary by the Turks of the Ottoman Empire. This victory at Mohaj marked the uh, effective destruction of the Hungarian monarchy and paved the way for Habsburg and Turkish domination in Hungary. This well-known and widely used proverb expresses a kind of consolation not to overestimate the current losses and optimism for the better future. Returning to the titular proverb, we must mention the name of the Hungarian Shandar Shoyu, born Heringen, born in 1868 in Impulshak, today it's Shahi in Slovakia. He was a poet, teacher, playwright, the royal director general of the educational district, correspondent member of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. 
Sander Soyo became known as the author of patriotic and irredenta poems. His 1923 poem, The Old Fool, was published in the volume Being Hungarian. You can uh, see on the left side the, the cover of uh, the book. Uh, the beat atmosphere of this poem containing words like funeral, death, buried, spilled, bloodstream, coffin, grave, reflect the feeling of tragedy experienced by the nation. One verse of this poem first became a winged phrase and then started its autonomous life as a proverb, sorrowfully, independently, even from the name of, the, of its author. Covered people have no homeland. Nowadays, this proverb is still an active one, which is proved also even by my personal research. So if you ask anybody, everybody knows this proverb. Now I uh, will try to read you a fragment of this poem. Hush, come a little closer. I am telling a secret. The song called for a funeral. They didn't hear only the elders, old fools. They took the big dad, they took him. Do you know who was buried? Me, you, all of us. Our millennial country, it was killed into a bloodstream. They put it in a dreadful coffin. As one the king of Hans, he was taken to the grave by his own people. And they didn't say it's a pity. Nobody was alone. Neither do I. I am already laughing. And if I laugh, who cares? There are no more Hungarians. I will not be a fool of a dead country either. Wow, let's drink for this. The mouth of grave wallows anyway. Covert people have no homeland. The people of the world all despise it. Even heaven laughs. They deserve it. They deserve it. The poor old fool deserves it. Crying to fall into dust. Cry on us that such a people so good, so beautiful. Why they have to perish? And conclusions. After having examined uh, the thematic group courage and fear in the thematic index of Russian proverbs and on Kotova, in comparing it to the Matikus international type system of proverbs, we discovered the classification differences between the two classifications. Based on keywords, and not only we identified 28 Hungarian proverbs corresponding to the 12 Russian proverbs in this thematic subgroup. The statistic spread of uh, full or partial equivalent uh, parallels with different images and lacuna resulted an interesting but partly uh, predictable outcome. Three preferable pairs were identified as equivalent. So the major part of the proverbs in the thematic group, 15%, are parallels with different imagery. As lacuna, we have a single Russian proverb. Uh, here has magnifying eyes and 12 Hungarian proverbs. The semantic analysis of the detected proverbs made it possible for the dividing them in five subsections, namely current and fear, uh, courage and destiny, fight and fear, encouragement, fearlessness can be dangerous, caution. Special attention was paid to the Hungarian proverb, uh, covert people have no homeland due to historical actuality of the event which brought forth the creation of this proverb. Thank you for your courage and patience. Thank you, uh, Irina, very much for, for your uh, very interesting presentation. Um, we don't have uh, any questions from, from the audience. Good, very good. <laughs> so, so I will put one myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, are there any Hungarian or Russian equivalent for the, 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 the proverb we use in Portugal, uh, which is the scalded cat fears even cold water? I think we, we could see my presentation very, very uh, similar with different imagery because it, uh, the Russian proverb speaks about, uh, uh, I, no, it was scared, not called it. Called the dog in Hungarian proverb has called the dog, not cat. But I think it's uh, the, the same meaning uh, with different imagery. Yes, we do have it. Okay, th thank you very much. We are ex uh, at the moment we are experiencing here in Tavira one a very rare phenomenon. I see, uh, I see, uh, I see a, que a question from Oti. Yes, Oti asks um, the connection of uh, fear courage proverbs to military ideologies of nations. The use of proverb coward people have no homeland. Uh, 
I don't think uh, OT Hood, uh, that uh, this uh, connection uh, is linked to the military ideologies. It's uh, the great events in the life of a country, of a nation, <coughs> always uh, leaves uh, marks in, in the, in the uh, uh, general wisdom of, of the nation, I think. And uh, the most important events, as I mentioned it, uh, uh, they are living uh, in, the, in the memory of, of nation, I think it's not the military ideology. It's like a very, very huge event because uh, uh, the Battle of Mohach, it's a little bit far away, but uh, uh, the Treaty of Trianon, it's a relatively fresh event and there are many families divided by, by, by borders. Uh, maybe as in case of, of Finland, you also, uh, you also, I suppose that you also have families divided by, by borders the recently, not so uh, far away, not so many years away. And also in Hungary, there are families living uh, um, abroad, but uh, belonging uh, to, to, the same, to the same family. Uh, so I don't think it's a it's military thing. It's uh, just the destiny of, of, of nation. I don't know whether I answer the question. Thank you again, uh, Irina. Uh... Yeah.